Hello, welcome to JavaScript tutorial, chapter 3, Uses and Advantages of JavaScript, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn the uses and advantages of JavaScript. Right now, let's do that. JavaScript can be used in various activities like data validation, display pop-up messages, handling different events of DOM elements, and modifying the style of DOM elements. To understand the uses of JavaScript very clearly, now let us look into an example. And here comes the web page, and this web page consists of form, and I've written a bit of JavaScript code to validate this form. So, in this form validation, I'm checking whether all the fields are completely filled, in the sense whether the user has filled the form completely or not. And also you can observe red asterisk key present here, these red asterisk key indicate these fields are compulsory in the sense user has to fill all these fields compulsorily. Okay, if not, suppose now when I click on the submit button, we are not filled any of the field here. So what I'll do, what I'll get is I'll get a pop-up message telling like please enter the first name. In the sense we are validating this form with the help of JavaScript. So let me jump back to presentation. This is what the data validation is. In the sense, in this form, we are validating the data. In the sense, we are, we are checking whether the form is completely filled or not. Those type of validation things can be done using JavaScript. For example, you can observe here, now I have not filled any of these fields. When I click on the submit button, it is not saving the data. Instead of that, it is telling me, please enter the first name. In the sense, we are validating the form and through this pop-up message, we are telling like, please enter the first name. Such that, once we enter all the fields, the data will be submitted to the database. Okay, This is how the form validation can be achieved with the help of JavaScript. And also we saw the pop-up message like display pop-up message in the sense when I click on the submit button you can observe when I click on the submit button I'm getting this pop-up message telling like please enter the first name those type of pop-up messages can also be achieved using JavaScript and coming back to presentation handling different events of DOM elements in the sense now imagine like whether now we have filled the form completely in the sense I've filled all the all these fields present here now when I click on the submit button in the sense after filling the form completely we are going to click the submit button to the submit button we are attached a simple click event or a click function this click function is the place where we have written our JavaScript code to validate the form in the sense to the submit button I have attached a function that function is going to validate this form whether the form is completely filled or not okay that is what the event attachment in a sense handling different events of DOM elements here we have attached the event to this button and finally modifying the style of DOM elements currently you can observe the background of this form is white now when I click on this button change color the background of this form will become yellow color so how can we change the style of the DOM elements we can also do that with the help of JavaScript and that's what I did now you can observe here now when I click on this it will become the background color will become yellow how can we achieve this this can be achieved with the help of JavaScript again so these are the typical users what we saw uh, right now in the example like we can validate the data you can push a pop-up message you can a you can attach a event to an element you can modify the style of DOM elements so we saw all the users with the help of this example and right now let me jump to the next slide coming to the next slide here it's uh, advantages of JavaScript so JavaScript is easy to learn and coming to the second point form validation can be done on the client side which reduces the unnecessary round trips between client and the server so um, with the in the uses of JavaScript in the earlier slide we saw in the uses of JavaScript the data validation so the uses of JavaScript uh, we saw how the form validation happens but keep in mind form validation was happening at the server side in the earlier days and this was the load on the server so to avoid the unnecessary round trips between the client and the server JavaScript help in doing the form validation at the client side itself and finally that makes the application responsive so validating the form at the client side with the help of JavaScript. It reduces the server load as well as it makes the application responsive.
and coming to the third point javascript it executes on any operating system in the sense javascript works irrespective of the operating system it can work on any operating system that's the meaning of that sentence and javascript can be used with any type of web page i repeat javascript can be used with any type of web page built using the server side technologies like php asp.net etc and coming to the next slide keep in mind with the javascript with the javascript partial page updates are available in the sense if you want to update only the portion of the web page and that can be done with the help of javascript and that is commonly called ajax we are going to understand what is this ajax in the coming sessions right now if you want to update the partial partial portion of the web page then with the help of ajax we can do it okay and coming to the next point javascript can also be used to anim anim animate elements on the web page in the sense for example if you want to hide or show some of the elements on the web page okay then that can be done with the help of javascript in the sense if you want to animate the elements on the web page that can be achieved with the help of javascript very easily so in this session we saw like what are the uses of javascript and also finally we saw the advantages of using the javascript and we understood them very clearly with the example and finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel and pro training you can also like our facebook page visiting these urls you can also follow us on twitter for further references refer our website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you